What's that like you mentioned doing a surgery where the person is likely not to survive? Does that wear on you? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's especially challenging um, when you, with all respect to, to our elders, uh, it doesn't hit so much when you're taking care of an 80-year-old and something was going to get them pretty soon anyway. And so you lose a patient like that, and it it was part of the natural course of what is expected of them in the, in the coming years regardless. Uh, taking care of, you know, a, a father of two or three, four young kids, so someone in their 30s that didn't have it coming, and they show up in your ER having their first seizure of their life, and lo and behold, they've got a, a huge malignant, inoperable, or incurable brain tumor. You, you can only do that, I think, a handful of times um, before it really starts eating away at your at your armor. Um, or, a, a, you know, a young mother that shows up that has a giant hemorrhage in her brain that she's not going to survive from, and you know, they bring her four-year-old daughter in to to say goodbye one last time before they turn the ventilator off. That, um, you know, the great Henry Marsh is an English neurosurgeon who said it best. I think he says every neurosurgeon carries with them a private graveyard, and I definitely feel that, um, especially with young parents. Uh, the, that that kills me. Uh, they they had a lot more to give the the loss of those people specifically has a you know knock on effect that's going to make the world worse for people uh, for a long time uh, and it's just hard to feel powerless in the face of that you know and that's where I think y- you have to be uh, borderline evil to fight against a company like Neuralink or to constantly be taking pot shots at us because what we're doing is to try to fix that stuff. We're trying to give people options uh, to reduce suffering. Uh, we're trying to we're trying to take the the pain out of life that uh, broken brains brings in. And um, yeah, this is just our our little way that we're fighting back against entropy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this, the, the amount of suffering that's endured when some of the things that we take for granted that our brain is able to do is taken away uh, is immense. And to be able to restore some of that functionality is a real gift. Yeah, we're just starting. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do so much more. <laughs>